before I won the lottery. The furthest I'd ever been was the, the free Sunday school out into Western Supermare when I was a kid. Now here we were on the Costa Bloody Bravo. Oh, Keith had a blue fit when I told him I'd booked us three weeks in Spain, Tangiers and Gibraltar. He was homesick for a point of Banks's bitter the minute we got our passports. <laughs> he soon cheered up when he found foreigners had booze and all. Oh, I got burnt to a frazzle every day and drunk every night. <laughs> he got drunk day and night. <laughs> Compared to everybody else's, my bikini looked like some of the rag and bowmen's dragged in, and I don't know why. I brought it at Marks and Spencer's. Was a class shopping at Marks and Spencer's? It's best up the medieval. And you know what the foreign fellas am like? <laughs> <laughs> Although, they did say I was a spitting image of Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Not that I encouraged them. <laughs> Not that Keith believed me. He thumped everybody in sight. Me included. Tangiers was the worst. Oh no, no, it was lovely, don't get me wrong, but there's poverty there, like, you, you don't even see around here. Skinny little kids living in caves. I'll get them bars of chocolate. Well, I mean, there's poverty, and there's poverty, isn't there? Well, Keith liked Gibraltar best because they sold English beer. Still, it was a Boston holiday. <laughs> and we managed to get the last flights out. And now I'm home. I'm ready for anything. <laughs>